Like how many hours in a day do you work? The early part of the day are my most productive hours. So guys, how are you doing today? It's Ty Idol here again and today we have a very special mission because we are on our way to go and interview a very big billionaire in Lagos, Nigeria. We're also going to be seeing, you know, what a day in the life of a billionaire is like. <laughs> the first thing I've noticed is they wake up very early. How many of you guys wake up 6 a.m.? This is my first time inside this estate. I've been hearing about the Carlton and Gate estate. Look at that. Chevron Drive. Guys, check out the houses they have here. See the low fences. This is when you know that you're staying. You've come to a very, a very rich area. See the neighborhood. We're entering the house of a billionaire. Check out the cars here. And we're going to be doing the interview inside. We're going to be asking him some questions and he's going to be sharing his story with how he started with us. This is a really rare privilege. I'm giving you guys exclusive content. Yeah, this is the living room area. Beautiful living room area. For somebody who does real estate, you know, it's a real estate mogul, so big ass sitting room, obviously. And this is where I think we just set up, put two chairs here to have the interview. If you've not seen that video, definitely check it out. I'm gonna link it somewhere up here. It's an interview where he shares the story of how he started. So the rest of this video is gonna involve us following him around for the day and seeing what a day in his life is like. So come along with me, let's go. trying to get this interview for a very long time. Luckily enough, we got it today. So now, I'm chasing him down. <laughs> okay, but I'm at this one, yeah. Okay. But I'll come and meet you there now. You know Lock and Well? Yeah, hello, sir. Uh, I just got to that Ibrahim Adesanya road. Oban Prime 3, okay. Oban Prime 3 is on my left now, so I'm just, I just passed it. Just finally found him. <laughs> but man, this land is huge. The real estate is big business, so see how big this massive land is. And they're going to be building a lot of properties there. We did the first interview around 6.30 a.m. And it's currently on site by 7 a.m. That tells you something. If you want to make money in this life, you have to be waking up early. All this food I used to sleep and be sleeping till like 8 o'clock. <laughs> like talk when we had the camera out. <laughs> you need to wake up early. So now it's headed to a new location again. So we have to get into the car and follow him. Yeah, so finally guys, we just got to Citadel View. and I've seen how really hectic your day is. Yeah, is this crazy. generally how most no, of the No, 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 no. What happens is Saturdays and Sundays are the days that I used to just sneak into the site early oh, okay. and see how they are doing. It allows me to have a grasp of what's really going on. You know, it's strategic for me because nobody expects me to just pop in on a Saturday morning. So I'm not so distant from the work anyway. Okay. I love it there so much. I can see your passion. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the latest development, right? Yeah, it's the latest from the group, you know, from the Victoria Crest table. It's for young millennials, two-bedroom terraces, with room DQ, two-bedroom apartment. We also have a one-bedroom studio. These are our sample units. So let me just show you what it looks like. This oh, is okay. a car park for a two-bedroom. This will take about three cars. Okay, oh, you have yeah, fingerprint? Yes, it does. Like fingerprint. fingerprint. Ooh, so nice. I open the door. So every house here comes with solar, comes with internet of things, you know. This is what the young millennials need. In some versions of it, some people have seen some people who are turning this place into a study. 
We call this the love pad. Like I always keep telling people, young millennials want big space yeah, in their kitchen. True. <laughs> so you can see a two bedroom yeah, right. that has this space for a kitchen, you know. The good part of this is that it's one of our most sustainable housing development. A community that can go purely off grid. You know, you have a gas turbine that will be installed here. You have solar systems in all of the houses. And you know, the solar systems are online real time. So you can manage what you have on your devices, purely smart homes. So I can see how this is tailored to just like a bachelor or somebody who is just starting life. Starting yeah, someone starting life, young couple, young husband couple, and wife, yeah. you know. Small living room. This is the masters here. The toilets. You get a lot of people do a lot of homeworks in the toilet. So <laughs> the toilet is precious enough for them yeah. to be comfortable. All these items are branded. So if you go there, go, oh, go closer, that's you true. see Ned. On the top, there's Ned. <laughs> Everything here you see, Ned, Ned, Ned. Let's see. LED. <laughs> yeah. All these lights are personalized, you know, specially imported for us. You can see how space the backyards are. You know, it's not those choky kind of choky. developments. Yeah. Yeah, well ventilated, well aerated. So, like, how many units are in this estate altogether? 179. 179. Apartments and residents. Phase oh, one sold out. Wow. <laughs> so we're doing phase two. Phase two is there. Oh, so all of this has been sold out already? Yes, phase one is sold out. But phase two is about to start, you know. So I'll show you the three bedroom now. Okay. We just finished touring one of the developments now. So we're headed to the three bedroom and the one bedroom. So it's taking me around this new estate and showing me some of the facilities that we have. I wanted Ampalon to cover that place ASAP. are peculiar and unique to us. It's our trademark. Anywhere you see this wall is a home built by Netcom Oaks and the Victoria Crest brand. Right. The good part is that we are partnered with the biggest and best tile producers in Nigeria. The house I built in my village, yeah. it's syndicated as I use, made in Nigeria, top quality. That's my big mansion in the village. One day I'll take you on a tour there. We are going to the village soon. <laughs> you know, for me, if I can't use it, why should I send it? Send it to somebody else. The toilet is special Ooh. enough for me to have a meeting. Most people do this. Early in the morning. <laughs> so you want the place to be spacious, yeah. well centered, you know, and then you have a bathtub somewhere there. <sighs> like how many hours in a day do you work? The early part of the day are my most productive hours. Okay. So afterwards, I take it easy on myself. Was it always like this, even when you started out? So like when I started out, I was practically working 24 hours. This is the first project where I have like five different house types. So we have the one bedroom, the two bedroom. And that's why we call it our 2022 home collection designs. These are the creations that came out of the COVID. So this is a one bedroom studio. But I can tell you, the apartment where myself and my wife started from was never this big. So this is the living room, you have a dining, you can have a shelf there, and this is the kitchenette. The apartments I pay 600 pounds for in London, they are not better than this. This is really nice. <laughs> just left that estate, we are headed to the next location. I'm just following them, they are right in front of me. And I'm trying seriously to catch up. I need a faster car. Like <laughs> Making money is not easy. Even people who have made money, who are billionaires, they still wake up early to get to work. Like forget all the nice cars, forget all the jeeps, forget everything. Like this is a grind. So guys, we finally got to the new site and I'm here with Lola, who is the project manager of Netcom Oaks. This is Capital Gardens Estate, just before Eleko Junction, oh. the Dera scheme. It looks empty now, but I'm sure like there's a lot of... Yeah, it's going to be coming. mixed developments. We're building some, we're selling land, selling fast already. Mm -hmm. We had a launch here on uh, October 12th. Nice. It was a beautiful ceremony. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> We've been following Dr. Ned around. Okay. And I've seen how hectic his day is. Is this how like a general day is? It's huh? always like this. We're doing something where we have to make luxury, affordable housing for youngins like us, even older ones, retirees, everybody. So there's yeah. demand from everywhere and there's so much to do trying to meet up with the customer's demand and all whatnot. Wow. So days like this, even today, I would say it's... It's still chill. <laughs> <laughs> really? We've been to like, we've been to like four, really, four sites chill. already. This is like the fourth site. 
already, and I'm sure there's still more. <laughs> work is to start here by 1st December. So when work starts, everything moves, moves. faster. No doubt. We have a lake that is being created. So this is going to be part of the estate itself? Yes, it is. Wow. So are you also into sales of land? Let's say somebody like me who oh, probably yes, yes, yes. want to buy land. Right here, Capital Garden is 25,000 per square meter right now. That's if you're paying one off. And then there's a payment plan for 29,000 per square meter. And that's fast selling. So the lake is still that's irregular. Still <laughs> can you? I can see the vision. Is this, is this going to be part of it? No, no, this is, you know, because they're reclaiming, when okay. you pump, you pump sand and water. Hmm. You need the water to come back. Oh. So they created a channel so that wherever we're pumping, yeah. the water comes back. Sand stays where we want it to stay, water, water goes back, back into the lake. Oh, nice. So guys, that's how the day went. And I would just love to share a recap of what it felt like spending a time with Dr. Kennedy Okonkwa. So it's not every day you meet an entrepreneur who has built a successful business in Nigeria, talk less of somebody who is a billionaire. Spending time with him just made me realize that the grind always continues. Like there's no stop to this grind. He has built what he has built and he's still waking up at 6 a.m., still going to multiple places in the morning, still having multiple meetings. Even this day that I showed, according to the people working with him, they said this was just like a normal day. This wasn't like how the major days were if they're busy. So it just makes you realize that there's a lot of work to be done. I mean, making this video is to inspire a lot of young African entrepreneurs out there because I believe that, you know, the way we can change Africa is if more people can step out of poverty, build the businesses for themselves. We need more entrepreneurs in Africa. We need more people in manufacturing, in production, in real estate, in tech, in media. We need a whole lot of all these kind of people. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to create my YouTube course, which I launched two weeks ago. It's a course that is meant to help you, you know, learn how I started on YouTube and learn the processes and tips that will make you grow faster from zero to over 100,000 subscribers. And it's linked below if you're interested in learning how to build a YouTube channel, definitely check that out. Another code that stuck with me in the interview we did yesterday, which if you've not watched it, check it out. I'm gonna link it up here, is when he said, one of the ways to stay ahead, you know, is to stay hungry, stay foolish, stay humble. And it's so interesting because I have stay hungry, stay foolish on my body. I got that tattoo, I think sometime last year. It just really resonated with me. Stay hungry means you always have to have that hustle mentality. You always have to know that it's never enough and you can always do better. You can always do more. You can always improve. And stay foolish just means that. Always know that there's so much more to learn. There's so much more you don't know that you can learn. There are so many people around you you can learn from. So don't have a close mind always have an open mind and know that you can always be wrong and they always find ways to seek information seek knowledge if you're out there and you are an entrepreneur or you're looking to you know start something new just go out there and start it's possible for you to build a business anywhere it's possible for you to build a business in nigeria in kenya in south africa anywhere you are if you're young if you have the go-getter mindset and if god is behind you obviously you can always build a successful business anywhere in africa so guys that's all i have to share with you guys today if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel please it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos <laughs> so please subscribe we are almost at 300,000 subscribers so please subscribe 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 and i'll definitely see you guys in the next one peace